What's up, family? My name is Ty, and I have a quick message for y'all today. Now, we were all born into this world with a particular purpose, and most likely that purpose was to, you know, serve the world with our gifts and our talents and things we were just born to do. Now, depending on, like, what direction your life took you, you know, will determine whether or not you realize, you know, your purpose or not. And like what it is you came here to share, but like all you really need to know is that everyone really came to share something, and you know that's either on a you know small scale or even on a big scale, and it's like it's true that life requires certain things from us, and you know we have to survive in you know this three d world like the main point I was trying to make is that we were never really supposed to forget what it is that we came here to do like we were never supposed to stray away from you know expressing our gifts and shining our light onto the world in the way that we were meant to and you know once we forget or you stray off the path of like you know trying to find what it is that you're here to do it's like if you continue to do other things it's like you're missing the whole reason on why you incarnated down here and it's like true that we do have free will, but it's like no matter what, it's very important for us to get in touch with what it is that we we're meant to share. And once we finally understand what it is that we we're meant to share, what sets us free, we're supposed to have the courage to express that. And, you know, it's like once you express that gift, it's like the equivalent of, you know, shining your light, your inner light onto the world. And when you're shining your inner light into the world, it's like you're sending out a signal to all the people, places, things, and, you know, circumstances that are like meant for you. And it's like everything really teaches us whether or not we, you know, decide to shine our light onto the world or not. But it's like once you do express it and express your light in a way that is beneficial to you. It just attracts all the things that is really meant for you, like all the lessons that you're really meant to learn and, you know, grow from. And it's like living by the way of the world can make you feel completely limited in your expression and like just feel like possibilities aren't really possible for you. And it's like, even though the world may make us feel discouraged about, you know, expressing our gifts, it's like really important that we do because like our lives depend on it. And then the people that we're meant to impact, their lives depend on it too, because, you know, just by you doing what you came to do and shining your light, you don't know who you're affecting and like whose life you're changing in a positive way. So you know, shining our light is rarely just about us. It's really about, you know, what you came there to do for the world. Because we're all here for each other at the end of the day. And it's like, of course, not everyone is meant to, you know, be impacted by your light in the way that you, you know, feel like it was necessary or feel like would be beneficial to them. And it's like, when you're around those type of people... You know, all you got to do is just really protect yourself from their judgments. Not everyone is going to understand, like, what you came here to do. And it's not really your job to force them to understand. It's just your job to do what you came to do. And then whoever, you know, was meant to receive that is going to receive it in the way, you know, that's good for them. And just leave it at that. You know, and it's like those people, nine times out of ten, they probably don't even have the courage to express any of their, you know, light onto the world like how you're trying to do. You know, those people will try probably think you should live practically and, you know, chase something that makes sense. But, you know, like I said before, it does it's not supposed to make sense to them, especially to people who, who aren't, you know, on that path. Because anybody who is on that path will never look at you as if you're doing something wrong. They'll 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 appreciate 
you know, what it is that you have to bring to the world. Because, you know, once you see somebody shining in their light, it's like you can't really deny that. Like, you can't really say anything bad about it, especially if it's impacting people in a good way. You know, I mean, you shouldn't really say anything. You can say something bad, but and then you would just be a hater at the end of the day. But, you know, just don't take anything personally. Just have empathy for those people because they're probably suffering. And it's like, depending on, you know, what you're meant to experience in this life, you know, expressing your light may not always take you to some grand destination, you know. You may not always reap the most benefits doing what it is that you're meant to do in a 3D sense. You know, you you may reap all the 3D rewards and, you know, get everything that you believe that you deserve or whatever, you know, because we're programmed to think that everything has to equate to, you know, some money. But, you know, once you're expressing your light and shining your light, you'll end up in a better place spiritually. You'll get way more spiritual rewards and, you know, gifts of the soul and rewards from God in ways you can't even, that 3D rewards can never really replace. Like, you know, that's what you should really want. Like, you should really want to grow spiritually because imagine if you chased all you know, 3D things and you never, you never got on your purpose or anything. You was unhappy down here. And then, you know, once you get to the point where your life is over, you know, you die and you didn't never even got to experience what you wanted to experience because you were too busy chasing 3D things and shit. So, and it's not like you could really take any of those 3D possessions with you. So... You just got to be mindful. And it's not to say you can't have a nice life down here with all the things that you want. But that should never be prioritized over your, you know, spiritual gifts. And things. like you're always being rewarded in spirit as long as you're walking the path that you're supposed to. So I like, don't feel bad if your journey doesn't look a certain way. You know, don't compare your journey to others because, you know, everybody's on their own path with their own destination and you know their own experiences that are meant to you know build them up and teach them certain things you know as long as you're doing what you need to do god will always take care of you when you're walking down the path that you're supposed to you just got to trust that you'll always end up in the right destination and no matter what no, no matter how life looks like, as long as you're shining your light and being a good example to others and serving them in the way that you're, you know, you were meant to, everything will be okay. It's like you got to remember not to take yourself so seriously and just enjoy yourself down here because, you know, you never know when that time is going to come when God calls you back home. So, just enjoy your life and, you know, the stuff that he's blessed you with doing while you're still here. And that's it.